The capital of Denmark, Copenhagen. The Amalienborg Palace complex is home to the Danish kings. And the palace of Frederick VIII will soon be housing Crown Prince Frederick and his wife Mary. But first, it's open to the public. After six years of renovation, the palace, built in 1750, once again gleams in all its Rococo glory. Inside, there's a surprise. Contemporary art adorns the walls, including a light installation by internationally renowned artist Olafur Eliasson. The idea came from the royal couple themselves. In the 18th century, artists were engaged to decorate a different palace in Denmark. And we wanted to do the same thing here. The crown prince and princess had seen works by the artists before and said they liked them and they wanted something similar. The palace is 4,700 square meters in area and has 36 rooms. Right now, 18 of them are open to the public. The royal couple chose 10 of Denmark's best artists to decorate the palace. One of them is Martin Schelde. It's a, it's a fantastic opportunity to make a, a big work. Um, yeah, I've, I've been with a bit of uh, stage fright perhaps, but uh, I had to overcome it and just uh, go ahead and do my best. The work in the reception room of the palace depicts a fantasy world with references to the crown prince and princess. Among other things, it shows the deck of a boat Frederick was on in 2006 as part of a scientific expedition. The prince is uh, really into uh, adventure and uh, he's a real action prince actually. So, uh, so he likes all these uh, uh, yeah, the fairy tale of it. Here, the fairy tale hasn't yet worked its magic. Another artwork was supposed to decorate this reception hall, but was removed because the couple didn't like it. This is how John Corner's picture was supposed to have looked. I did first one that uh, didn't succeed. <laughs> so the, the royal couple, the crown prince and his wife, Mary, they refused the first one. They don't like it, I think it, perhaps it was too light. Now he's painting a new one. It shows Danish soldiers in Afghanistan. A few days before this, the royal couple had taken a look at it and signaled their approval. The crown prince himself actually was a, a soldier years ago. Uh, he might have an a um, idea what I'm talking about. So, but now they actually uh, find it quite interesting, and uh, so that's the idea. Huh? So I'm happy. <laughs> Back to the royal couple's palace. The renovation cost 27 million euros, and in addition, three million for the artworks, creating a palace with a unique combination of Rococo and the contemporary. Casper Bonen also painted a picture. He sees the palace as representing not just the royal couple, but also Denmark. Yeah, I think it will mean something for uh, how people look at contemporary art and also this old house and, and you try to, 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 make it, to make a dialogue with, with modern art and uh, contemporary art in this uh, field. I think that's interesting and that's has something that maybe we'll research on in, in future. The palace is open to the public until May 30th. And then in the summer, Crown Prince Frederick will be moving in with his wife Mary and their children.